guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing this 250 euro robotic arm from AliExpress. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out. On paper, this thing seems really interesting. It has full metal construction. Uh, it has a 500 gram or about half a kilo payload, which basically means how much the robot can pick up. And it is all powered by an ESP32, which is quite a powerful chip uh, with integrated Wi-Fi capabilities. So I'm really interested to see how this thing works. So let's just get straight into it and do this unboxing. So this is the box that the robotic arm came in. Uh, as you can see, it's packaged quite well. We obviously have the robotic arm itself, uh, but we also have a few extras. So this bag has a few wires to connect the robotic arm up to different stuff. We have uh, some metal plates, which I suppose are to connect the robotic arm to different uh, surfaces. Uh, we've got a screwdriver and then obviously the power brick. Uh, the cool thing about the power brick is that it has these detachable uh, adapters basically so i suppose if you order the us version or the eu version you get a different attachment um, and it just snaps on like that which is quite interesting all right and then we have the robotic arm and this thing is heavy it feels surprisingly heavy it's full metal construction and it does not feel like a toy so now the robotic arm is out of the box let's go over the design really quickly as i said it's full metal construction so this is all steel which is really nice the upper arm is made up of aluminium extrusion there's two of these uh, and they have a v-slot in them which is really nice because it's very easy to mount extra stuff to a v-slot the lower arm is made up of carbon fiber to save up on weight which is a pretty neat feature so this robotic arm is powered by uh, five servo motors so we've got one in the base with a very beefy truss bearing on top of it we get two in the shoulder because it's the strongest joint we have one in the elbow and then one more for the gripper these servo motors are full metal servo motors which basically means that all the gears inside of them are made up of metal which makes them stronger and much more durable all right so let's move down here to the board so as i mentioned this thing's powered by an esp32 which you can see it sits right there it's quite a powerful chip uh, on this side we get a bunch of io ports to connect the robot up to other stuff on this side we get a little lcd screen and a dedicated wi-fi antenna also we have two usb-c ports and a sd card slot down there on this side we have the 12 volt dc power input which powers the entire robotic arm the on off switch and two more data ports which is quite an interesting board and i can't wait to play around with it so uh, let's go ahead and set this thing up and i'll show you how it works so the setup is actually quite easy uh, from the box the robot comes attached with this sort of clamp so you can clamp it onto your desk it's actually quite big so i think it will work with most desks um, work fine for my desk and it's a pretty secure connection so once that's set up we're going to plug in the uh, power adapter and then we plug it into the robot uh, robotic arm right here and then there's a little switch to turn it on all right, before we go play around with this thing, uh, make sure that it's set up safely. Uh, I got a unwanted lesson in robotic safety really quickly. So when I was playing around with this thing, um, I was sitting way too close with my laptop and I um, hit initiate or home and the robotic arm swung around quite quickly and hit my laptop quite hard. <laughs> so yeah, uh, before you start playing with this thing, make sure it's set up safely and there's nothing oh. valuable that the robot can destroy. Luckily my laptop survived, it only cracked the screen a little, so it's fine. All right, so once you've powered on the robotic arm, uh, you hit this switch right here the little screen turns on and uh, this powers up the ESP and it creates a Wi-Fi hotspot so when you open up your laptop uh, you go to your internet browser um, you can select the Wi-Fi network and it should show up as row arm and you can select that once it's connected you go to your internet browser and you go to this IP address which is the IP address of the robotic arm I'll have it in the description so you can just copy and paste it and once you hit enter it will go to um, that IP address which is the robotic arm and it will show up with this interface um, and in this interface you can directly start controlling the robot which is pretty cool so on top we here we have uh, the controls for the individual joints so we can join the, the shoulder the elbow the base the gripper um, 
and down here we have X, Y, and Z controls. So what's also very nice about the software that comes with the robotic arm is the fact that it has an inverse kinematic model on it, which allows you to move the robotic arm in the X, Y, and Z directions, and it will automatically calculate the position each joint needs to be in. This also makes programming this robotic arm surprisingly simple because you can just tell it to go to an X, Y, and Z coordinate and it will automatically calculate the best path of getting there, which is a really nice feature. All right, so now let's move on to the strength test. So this robotic arm is rated to pick up 500 grams. So let's see if it can. First off, we're gonna start out a little bit lower. Uh, I got this bottle filled with water. It weighs a little bit less than 300 grams, so it should be able to pick this up without a problem. So yeah, as expected, no real struggles here. It lifts this up without a problem and it can move it around with no struggle whatsoever. Um, so yeah, that's very nice. Let's move up to a slightly higher weight. So I got this water bottle, uh, which weighs 560 grams, which is a little more than what the robotic arm is rated for. So I'm really interested to see if it can still pick this up. So yeah, surprisingly, it can still pick this up um, surprisingly easily. Uh, it is struggling quite a bit when moving it side to side. It is uh, slowly moving down. Um, so yeah, this is definitely more than what the robotic arm is rated for, but I'm very surprised to see that it can still pick it up. It's really nice. So yeah, overall quite a surprisingly capable robotic arm. Uh, as of making this video, this robotic arm is on sale on AliExpress for only 250 euros, which seems like a really good deal to me. Uh, especially if you want to get into robotics uh, or you want to use this robotic arm for one of your projects, I highly recommend getting it. Uh, it's quite easy to set up, uh, it's strong and fairly capable. Uh, if you do want to get it, please consider using my link in the description, it will help out the channel a lot. And if you're down there, uh, you like the video, make sure to like uh, and subscribe for more robotic content. And yeah, thanks for watching, see you next time.